a supposed comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. As one Harvard professor is raising the theory, this may actually be a piece of alien technology. According to renowned theoretical physicist Professor Avi Loeb, the comet is on an extremely unusual path, moving too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity, breaking a typically seen orbital trajectory. And while this comet poses no current threat, Professor Lowe believes more data should be collected to uncover the nature of this object and whether it has the potential to create risks in the future. Joining us now to discuss more is that scientist himself, Harvard professor of science and author of Extraterrestrial, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth, Avi Loeb. A professor, it's always so good to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's wonderful to see you, Natasha. So, Professor Loeb, your recent paper suggests that this object might actually be alien technology rather than just another comet. What exactly about the speed, the trajectory, the behavior leads you to consider this as a possibility? Well, first, it's uh, relatively bright uh, for its distance, implying that if it's a solid object, it has to be 20 kilometers in diameter. That's uh, twice as big as the giant asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, 66 a million years ago. And the previous objects we saw from interstellar space were only hundreds of meters in size. So there is just not enough rocky material in interstellar space to provide us with a 20 kilometer rock that uh, appears once per decade. Uh, but uh, more importantly, the trajectory is very unusual. Uh, it's aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. And uh, the chance of that happening is one in 500. And then it also, the timing of its arrival is very fine tuned because it comes very close to Jupiter, uh, to Mars and to Venus. Uh, and the chance of that happening is one in 20,000. And moreover, it's moving in the opposite direction to the motion of the Earth around the sun. And when it will come closest to the sun, the Earth would be on the opposite side. So we won't be able to observe it. That's the point in time when it can do a maneuver uh, with the aid of the sun's gravity. And uh, that will happen on October 29th. And uh, I already heard uh, from a fan that uh, he is trading options against the volatility of the markets, the, the stock market, with an expiration date because of the October 29th, because um, um, if it's uh, alien tech, uh, you know, that would uh, change uh, the future in quite dramatic way. It will wow. have a huge I mean, so many questions. So, I mean, if I have this uh, correct, I believe you've proposed using a, a Richter scale before to assess such objects. A zero means this is totally of natural origin. Ten means this is clearly engineered. Based on, on what we know about this object and what you're observing, what number would you give it now? Um, we don't have enough data. Uh, it depends how much uh, weight you give to the unusual orbit. The trajectory is extremely rare and fine-tuned. Uh, and depending on that, how much uh, you assign to that, uh, uh, you will uh, give it uh, a rank that is somewhere in the middle. Uh, it's difficult to assess at this time, but we will get the good news is we'll get much more better data in the coming months. And, uh, the, you know, the fun of doing science is that you can ask questions uh, at first and then uh, answer them with data. And uh, we don't need to have an opinion, especially in a blind date like this one. Um, you know, all bets are off. Uh, this visitor came from interstellar space and it's possible that, uh, you know, it, it targeted the inner solar system uh, for a technological reason. From what you're describing, this sounds like one of the worst blind dates <laughs> potentially I've ever heard of. Uh, do we have the capabilities right now to track, intercept, and even respond to something non-human entering our solar system as soon as October? Well, it will be moving uh, relative to Earth at uh, nearly 100 km kilometers per second uh, when it's closest to the sun. Uh, simply because it moves in the opposite direction to the motion of the Earth. There is no way for us for us to send a, a rocket that will intercept with it from Earth. However, I wrote a paper last week that uh, uh, there is actually a spacecraft that is orbiting Jupiter. It's called Juno, and it's at the end of its life. Uh, the plan was to uh, send it straight into Jupiter in September 2025, because uh, the mission is has ended. 
Um, but um, what I realized is that if instead of giving it a push so that it ends its life inside Jupiter, you give it a push away from Jupiter, if the push is sufficient, sufficient then uh, it will actually intercept uh, the, the orbit of uh, uh, 3i Atlas, this new object, uh, in March 2026, when it will come very close to Jupiter. And um, on Tuesday this week, uh, just a few days ago, I had a phone call from uh, Congresswoman uh, Anna Paulina Luna, uh, who asked me for an update about the uh, 3i Atlas. And I mentioned this to her, and she wrote a letter to NASA uh, on on. Uh, Thursday uh, last week, just two days ago, uh, in which she encourages NASA to look into the possibility of using uh, Juno as a probe of 3i Atlas. I really appreciate that update, and I hope you keep us updated on this as well. Uh, Professor Avi Loeb, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thanks for having me. And if you want to hear more directly from Professor Avi Loeb, check out the Truth of the Matter podcast. Our conversation now has more than half a million views. He talks about how AI will change UAP research, the potential risks of contacting extraterrestrial life, and what keeps him up at night. You can find my podcast, The Truth of the Matter, on News Nation's YouTube page or listen wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.